Here's a simple circuit to um, control he uh, sen heat sensing with the MSP430. What I've got on this side here is a um, single uh, resistor. It's a heat resistor, heat sensitive resistor. Um, on this side I've got a relay which is used to switch mains power, MSP430, um, and some uh, a, a transistor to switch from the 3.3 volt to 5 volt to turn on the um, 5 volt relay switch. I had this running inside a um, a drying unit. What this was doing is um, it was sensing the heat. And when the heat gets up to a certain level, um, the um, the uh, it switches the relay on or off. So it heats up. The um, when it gets to a, a temperature threshold, it turns off the coil um, with this relay so that the, 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 there's no more heat. But the the dryer continues working and then it cools down and then it turns it back on when it's finished. I'm just going to reset the circuit quickly. If you give me a sec, by turning it off. That didn't work. Let me turn it off properly because it needs a. It's obviously got a capacitor running somewhere to keep it charged. There we go. Okay. So on the first run of the of the program, um, the green LED flashes a lot, and that's uh, showing that it's really in threshold mode to set the temperature. So the temperature is now sort of room temperature. I'm going to heat it up slightly, but this little, little switch over here, when I push the switch, it tells the um, the program that it's ready, and that's the threshold temperature to set it at. So I'll heat it up slightly with my thumb, and then push the button. And there you go. So now it's set that as a as a level. Now the red light means the um, circuit is broken for the uh, relay, which means the coil's broken. The temperature will come down slightly, and then it'll flick back. You can see the green the green lights pulsating every time it's checking the temperature once a second or so. Sorry about my cat in the background if you can hear it, but anyway. So um, there we go, you can see it's flicked off to the normal state. Now when the dryer is running, that circuit will be closed and the, the dryer will be heating up. When it starts to get too high, I'll show you quickly with my, my finger, it'll turn on. That's checking every every second or so for the temperature and then it flicks the temperature off. So this can be set for any temperature. It does The temp temperature is arbitrary, so it doesn't matter. Um, whatever you set it to with your thumb, um, it'll it'll set it to. If you want to reset it, you just hold this button down again, um, and then it should yep starts flashing again, and then you can reset the setting. So very simple parts. Um, the diode is, is and the relay are used for, are used to protect the MSP430 from back current from the coil and the relay. That's important if you're building a circuit for the relay. And obviously the relay runs a 5 volts, so we need the um, the transistor to switch the higher voltage of the, um, the relay. Um, I've got a 5 volt um, power supply off screen, and it's driving the circuitry of the MSP430 through a simple voltage divider. So um, I don't have any fancy um, voltage regulators on there, just a, a voltage divider, which is very straightforward, which brings the voltage down to just over 3 volts. There we go, there's my little project for the... MSP430 temperature sensor. Enjoy.